communist barrier between East and West Berlin grows higher and stronger, the more determined grows the will of those in the East to escape. Along the border, East Berliners are forced to evacuate their homes as the communist police move to prevent their escape. reflecting mirrors in the hands of East German police, and water hoses are played on equipment. Nevertheless, our reporters are able to come up with some remarkable pictures, despite these hazards. Smoke and tear gas bombs sometimes boomerang on the East German troops. It's like a deadly game of badminton. who have apartments facing the border take the long chance when they get orders to leave their homes for the interior. While an East German guard attempts to yank her back to prison, West Berliners pull her to a fire net and freedom. Heedless of danger, from fourth and fifth floor windows, from any hatchway open to escape, they flee. This woman drops into a net held by alerted firemen. And then, as a tense crowd watches, she is followed by her husband. But first, he throws out a few prized possessions. to protect their people from such temptations, the East Germans are raising homes and buildings along the border and creating a 10-foot ditch to prevent autos and trucks from crashing the barrier. The East Germans don't seem to have guards enough to plug every hole. When a soldier's attention is diverted by others, a hole is cut in the barbed wire and Khrushchev's face is slapped again. can capture but a few isolated instances of these heroic escapes, but enough to present a remarkable document of our time. Remember, these people are risking their very lives to taste something we too often take for granted, liberty. At times, the border guards seem to make but half-hearted attempts to stop their fleeing countrymen. They never use their guns within camera range, though there have been many reports of shootings. Maybe someday they too hope to sample the sweet taste of freedom. <laughs>